Hello everyone, my name is Danish Buns, and welcome to this episode of Noob's Review. This is the gaming show where I explain gameplay as well as providing my own personal opinion on new games or relatively unknown games. The game I'm playing today is Super Monday Night Combat, or Super MNC for short. For those of you who watched my Hell Not to Play, you'll know that I recently cried myself to sleep after playing this game. But in actuality, I really enjoyed it. It's a really fun game. Unfortunately, my How Not to Play doesn't really explain anything at all. It's really just me crying to myself. So I thought I'd actually make this noobs review and try and explain the actual combat and mechanics behind the game. So basically, I'm going to go over the class types of this game, a bunch of other things that aren't really relevant but are relevant. <laughs> basically the structure of the game and I'm gonna provide some strategies behind actually winning so you may want to listen up first off I'd like to say that the classes actually switch out every week so you get a different variety of classes which I actually really enjoy you're not stuck with the same old thing all the time so that's pretty cool now there's a wide variety of classes you have low health medium health high health classes and they all have their specialities some will be healing type some will be damage dealers some will be close range some will be long range and it really allows for all players to fill any archetypal role that they want to fill, which I think is awesome. I, for instance, took this robot dude because, you know, I'm cool like that. Now, this game also has something also very interesting, which is the leveling mechanic. Now, as you can see here on the top three bars, I have special skills, and on the bottom two, I had health and damage. Those top three bars actually just got moved to the right-hand side, so you can see them right there. Now, they're all special to my class, but I have a white torpedo launching thing, I have a jump ability, and I have an explosive bot ability, which will sit there and wait for someone to come. But back to the leveling system, it's really interesting because as you play, as you kill robots, as you kill enemy opponents, as you destroy turrets, what you're doing is you're gathering points. And these points will allow you to level up your character and make things do more damage and gain health. And this is something I think is really necessary in an FPS because it adds a larger dynamic to the gameplay. It makes it way more enjoyable. How about I get right to explaining the actual mechanics of the game though. So the easiest way for me to explain this game is to tell you that it is a cross between Team Fortress 2 and League of Legends. You have a bunch of bots that spawn automatically and walk towards your enemy's base. What you're trying to do is escort the bots to your enemy's base to destroy the bot's capture point, which is called the money ball. Of course, the other team is doing this at the same time. So you guys are constantly walking into each other, trying to eliminate each other. As well as that, there are also two paths to follow. So your team actually has to split up, escort the bots all the way down, and basically work together as a team. And a lot of FPSs don't include that mechanic at all. And I'm not fond of that. I really want teamwork when I play my games, you know? and this game does it really well. So I really enjoy the mechanics behind this gameplay. I'm not really sure if they have any other game types other than this one, but this is the one I played all the time throughout the weekend and I just got wrecked. <laughs> now, I hope you've been paying attention because if you have, you've been noticing that there are coins dropping from all the bots and all the enemies. Now, what these coins are used for is to purchase items and bots. Now these aren't these normal weak bots, these are special bots. If you guys watched my How Not to Play, you would notice that I summon this weird monkey guy all the time. And he was pretty powerful, he could knock people around. But those aren't the only types of bots you can purchase. I'm going to show one later. The one I'm trying to purchase now is actually not a bot, it's a machine called the Annihilator. And what the Annihilator does is it destroys the other team's robots, as well as dealing damage to the other players. Now, unfortunately, as you can tell, I was the only person on my team trying to get the Annihilator, and my team will pay for it right now. <sighs> Pretty depressing. <laughs> so, as you can tell from that map right there, all those red little guys, those are the enemy robots, and they have no opposition. So, they are pushing through, and it is getting nerve-wracking for us. But that's a really big strategy. Whoring the Annihilator is really effective because you can constantly wipe out another team's robots, especially when they spend a lot of time summoning the robots. Right now I'm going to use a different strategy and look at that guy right there. 
Look at that mammoth. I have no idea what his name is, but he can take so much damage that it's not even funny. So this is the other strategy I'm going to be talking about. Essentially what I did this game was I didn't spend a single dime of my coin on anything. But I saved it up for the end so I could summon this mammoth who can take so much damage. I, This deja vu, I just said this. <laughs> Basically, this guy is going to stomp all the way through, and if the other team has no other robot like this, so if they don't have enough money to summon this guy, he's basically unstoppable. He is ridiculous. So that's essentially what I'm doing right now. I summoned him, and I noticed that the Annihilator is being summoned, so I'm going back upstairs, and I'm going to try and make sure no one grabs the Annihilator. Now, unfortunately, there's someone there, so I'm nervous because I don't want to lose my robots. So I'm going to jump up here. And knock this guy off the platform. And bam, I've defended it. And as you can see, I'm going to look over to my team. They're trying to take out their money ball right now. And he kicks me off, but it's too late. The robots have done their damage. And the Annihilator is no longer necessary because we are destroying the money ball, which is the capture point. And we've won this game, basically, which is awesome. So... That's a strategy. Of course, there are billions of different other strategies, but that's why I really like this game. The fact that there are so many strategies. This isn't simple shoot, point, kill. This is way more than that. There's, you actually have to think. Can you imagine that? Thinking in a game? Who would have thought? Anyways, this has been a noobs review of Super Monday Night Combat. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you guys learned something. Because, honestly, this game is worth playing, and I really think you guys should pick it up and try it out. Anyways, that's all for the show. If you guys have a game that you want me to play, please leave it in the comment section below. Send me an email at camelsilo at gmail.com. Or send me a Twitter message on Twitter at DanishBuns. Please follow me on Twitter as well, because I currently have no one. I repeat, no one. Well, okay, no, that's not fair. I have four followers, so, you know, not that bad. But anyways. And I also am apologizing for the fact that I haven't made a lot of videos these past couple weeks. I was writing my exams. So I will be picking up for this week a bit. Week and a bit, I think. And then it'll go back to, hopefully, the two videos a week that I really want to do. Anyways, that's all for me. I will see you next time.